In this video I'll do an illustration in Clip Studio Paint. Welcome to Stave Draws. This is a different kind of tutorial, uh, well it's not actually a tutorial. It's uh, another software program I'm drawing in and that's called Clip Studio Paint. It used to be called Manga Studio, but it's a great software to draw in because the the brushes and uh, especially the pencils are very nice to draw in and you can also draw with vectors this is one of the the software programs i draw in for my professional work and i'm now working on an illustration i had to do for a marketing specialist and it's all about marketing so i'm drawing the character which is lifted up by balloons and the balloons are the marketing tools like his own profile and all the social media. So I also had to draw the characters. And what you can do is, of course, you know, copy uh, the original icons for Twitter and for LinkedIn and Facebook. But I wanted to keep the illustration within the style of the illustration, so I had to draw them by hand. So. It will be a little bit more organic. Clip Studio Paint looks a lot like Photoshop, but it has, has a, a different approach to it. And maybe I'll do a tutorial about how to paint and draw in Clip Studio Paint, because now with Clip Studio Pro or uh, SE, you can also animate on a timeline. And which is a great thing because the drawing tools are much better than when you're drawing uh, in Photoshop, because this is really towards uh, illustrations with line work, but they also uh, enhanced the, the painting engine of Clip Studio Paint. So it's a great software to draw and you know make illustrations like this with line art. And the inks I'm doing in a separate layer, and that's a vector layer, so you can blow up your illustrations to any format you wanted and this was also used as a poster but unfortunately you cannot uh, export this to illustrator here i'm doing the color and i already made another illustration and you see it on the right and i'm just color picking it because it needed to be in the same style as the other illustration and I'm just using flat colors and what I sometimes do, I just use one shade of color or a value darker to make the characters uh, pop out a little bit more. And what I did with the icons, I first wanted to do them in color, but I decided that I would color all the balloons in the colors of the icons. So the blue of LinkedIn, blue of Facebook and the blue of Twitter, which are all uh, different kinds of blues. And I'm just painting it by hand because you can also use uh, a paint bucket, but I just wanted to keep it uh, in a more painterly style. And I'm now just drawing the icons in white. And then this is on top of the other layer of the balloons that are colored. And, you know, it's always great, you know, to do your illustrations within layers. And that's the great thing about drawing digital is that you can use the layers and change things later on. Because sometimes uh, a client wants to have some changes. And when you have all the things on separate layers, it's easier to change. Otherwise, you need to redraw the entire illustration. Because I've inked it in a more loose style, I have to paint everything in. And otherwise you could just use uh, the paint bucket tool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to do a tutorial about how to draw in Clip Studio Paint, please let me know in the comments down below. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.